Good evening everyone, ladies and gentlemen, buttercups. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. A trick that I figured out a few months ago uh, and that I think everyone will be quite happy to know about. Um, today I'm going to teach you how you can enhance your image without using Photoshop. Even better yet, you don't even have to download anything or use any tool on the internet. If you're using Windows 10, which I'm assuming basically everyone is, uh, because Wallpaper Engine doesn't even run on Mac, or as far as I'm aware Linux, basically only on Windows, you'll have this uh, amazing feature available to you anyway. So, what I'm talking about is today I'm going to teach you how to enhance the colors of your image and add a clarity filter on top of it. This, uh, the result of this process, which takes around two minutes, believe it or not, uh, makes your image look way more lively, vibrant, and you can, or the opposite, depending on what you want. So, without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. I've already uh, ready two wallpapers, two examples that I wish to show to you, uh, to give as an example as what my process is and how quickly it can be done. So, let's start with the first. First up, you just want to open it. Open it. Uh, you'll go to the default preview uh, program that Windows has installed for you and you want to go to the edit and create button and then press edit. From there on you're brought to this amazing new screen where you can just add, crop your image, rotate it if you want, but we don't want to do any of that. We want to go to adjustments because there were two options that we wanted to do. We want to adjust the color and the clarity to make the image look more lively. So how do we do this? Well, by simply adding more color. You can slide this slider all the way to the left to remove it or all the way to the right to add it. Now, usually you don't want to go all the way to the left or to the right unless that's your thing, of course. It's your wallpaper. You do you. Personally, I'm a fan to uh, amplify the color to a certain degree where it still resembles the original color, but it's just amplified. So let's say around 70, because this is the original. This looks a bit gray and bleak, but let's just add a lot more color by setting it to 70. Next up, because we sharpened the colors, this makes the image look, it, it makes it jump forward uh, much more. So how we're gonna reduce this by just grabbing the clarity slider and just sliding it all the way to the left, around 60. And when you're done with this, when you're satisfied with the result, you just press save a copy, give it a little bit of name, recolor, it'll save the copy and then you should be able to uh, compare them. So let's see, this is the one that we just made. This is where we added more color and clarity and this is the original. Well, uh, in my humble opinion, the difference is basically as bright as day, pun intended with the colors. Uh, this just looks way nicer. Also, uh, the added effect of clarity is that, for example, the background over here looks way more vague than over here. It jumps way more to the front. This makes shake effects way easier to use as the background is less noticeable and automatically it's less noticeable when it moves, meaning your shake effects can be stronger without having this, those weird distortions in the background that just grab your attention. Alright, so that was one. Let's do the other as well, for good measure. We're going to go to Edit and Create, press the Edit button, go to Adjustments, and from here on we can tweak with the settings. Let's say I'm going to just explain the, the other uh, sliders as well. You can expand these and uh, grab with these sliders and tweak them with them as you like. Usually I don't really touch them as they are only amplifying a single or multiple effects. Though the highlights slider I do use from time to time. Uh, the shadows basically adds or removes shadows. Uh, the color, yeah well, personally the tint going to the right or to the left, sometimes it makes your image better. For uh, this one, for example, makes it a bit better if you go to the right, adds a bit more color. But that's what we want to do with the color slider anyway, so not really looking forward to that. And the warmth, well, speaks for itself, doesn't it? Oh, and then you have, lastly, the vignette, as it's called. Uh, and this basically just adds a white or a black vague uh, circle around your image. Something we don't want to use either. 
So let's get this one on the road as well. Just gonna grab the color, add all the way to the right. Like go to 70, 75 or something. Just make sure colors don't get oversaturated. This part, for example, those wings or Morgana here. Uh, if you go too far with the color, see, this is gonna start looking a bit weird. So that means you've went too far on the color and just want to scale it back a bit. So let's say 75. You can still see them a little bit, but that's where the clarity slider comes in. Then we're just going to reduce the clarity by like minus 50. or go even further, let's say minus 60, 62 or something. I'm going to save copy. I'm going to call it recolor. And then we can compare them. And well, basically as the image before this, uh, the colors are way more vibrant, way more lively, and uh, it looks less jarring in my opinion. Because the edges over here are very sharp, and over here they're a bit more smoothed out. And that's basically it for now. This is just a small trick, something that requires almost no attention to detail as it's fairly simple to do but it can enhance your wallpaper immensely it can vastly improve the quality of it in my opinion um, so i felt like i just wanted to share it with you because who doesn't like a nice wallpaper but with those words i'm gonna close i'm gonna call today um, I'll probably have more tutorials coming up. Uh, if you have any ideas, any effects that you would like explained, or any, uh, or you have a wallpaper, for example, that you and you have a certain uh, part of the wallpaper that you would like animated, or have an effect on top of, and you have no idea how to do it properly, uh, feel free to leave suggestions as to what tutorials you would like to see next, uh, covering what aspect, uh, as long as I'm capable of actually doing them, of course. Uh, and I'll do my best to make one tutorial about it and upload it as quickly as possible. And with that, happy wallpapering! <laughs>